What's going on guys? This is JT here. I'm over here on the iOS server on my free to play account and today is the reset for Lost Battlefield. So I'm going to get in here, show you guys my Lost Battlefield attempts, also explain my setup. But quickly, I wanted to do a quick alter review just so you guys know what I'm using in Lost Battlefield. To start off, I got my single evolved 4 or 5 enlightened 9 or 10 pumpkin duke, which I'm pretty pumped to have a 9 or 10 Pumpkin Duke definitely helps out. And we have a 5 of 5 Corrode Vlad Dracula. I have him 7 of 10. And honestly, I love Corrode on my Vlad Dracula. I'm not even going to lie. At first, whenever I rolled the 5 of 5 Corrode, I was like, what am I going to do with this Corrode? I don't know where to put it. And then I chose Vlad, and I actually love it on the Vlad. It comes in so handy, especially for Lost Battlefield. So we got a 7 of 8 scatter on the phantom king that is seven of ten and i highly recommend having scatter on your phantom king it's for sure in my opinion the best talent for phantom king it comes in the clutch all the time especially whenever i'm faced up against an atlanta core i can just move my phantom king to wherever that atlanta core is and never procs it helps for the low level lost battlefield anyway so we also have a five of five revitalized revenant which is huge as well i was really lucky that this bad boy was born with five of five revite it's the only revenant i've ever rolled and that's just a big help to stun right at the start of fights. So let's see. We also have the Ares with 2 of 5 Enlightened. Got him currently at 7 of 10. So he needs a new talent. Just haven't rolled anything for him yet. Same with Heartbreaker as well. Got her at 7 of 10. 2 of 5 Enlightened as well. I have 5 of 8 Revive on my Thunder Guy, which I don't recommend for a talent, but this does actually come in handy for me right now just because I don't have enough Revives as Crest Sets to put on all of my heroes because Revive is definitely my favorite Crest Set for free-to-play accounts in um, Lost Battlefield. So we got a 4 of 8 Zerk Druid, which is okay. We also have a 4 of 8, 7 of 10, almost 8 of 10 Cupid, which I can't wait to get this Cupid to 8 of 10. So close. I could actually go ahead and squeeze it in right now. Should I do that? No, nah, I don't think it's that important to do it right now. But I'm hoping to put, obviously, a 5 of 5 revitalized on the Cupid eventually. I have a Lady Leo with 1 of 8, Zerk, 5 of 10. This is actually just recently got my Lady Leo up to level 140 and 8 star. So I haven't had much use with Lady Leo, not even on my main account. I don't have one leveled up. So I'm excited to use Lady Leo in Lost Battlefield. As for a Mortep, we got 4 of 8, Revive. Like I said, I don't really think that revives a good talent on any hero is the main talent but that's what i'm stuck with right now on my free to play account so that's what i'm going with we also have a 4 of 10 tree with 5 of 8 flame guard which isn't that bad but i don't know i mean yeah it's pretty bad but that's what i have on my tree for right now we also have a pixie with 2 of 8 war god and thinking of that i did just recently roll on my last talent refresh a 4 of 8 war god man i wish that was freaking 5 of 8 i throw it on my warlock but since it's 4 of 8 I might honestly throw it on my Pixie. I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to put it. I also have a 4 of 10 Warlock with 5 of 8 Heavy Blow, which I do want to change to War God eventually. And last but not least, I have a 5 of 5 Corrode, 5 of 10 Beast Tamer, who is actually a pretty beast in Lost Battlefield. Now let's go ahead and get in. Now I'm almost getting to a thousand total points and lost well actually no i'm not last week i did get like 780 though which is my or no 747 is what i got which is my record so not a bad start i'm only 250 points away from a thousand so hopefully this week i keep improving it's really important to get over 600 every single week because you get the 210 gems right there man i cannot wait to freaking get a thousand that's 400 total gems oh it's gonna be beast mode Alright, so let's go ahead and show you guys the teams that I'm currently using. Let's see here. Start off with my favorite team. We got... Now, how I or let me explain how I organized these teams first. The way I organized them was is I put one strong team, which is my Pumpkin Duke team right here, and then my other two teams, they're both strong, but they're not like a powerhouse team like this one is. The other two teams are kind of like evened out just in case I run up... There's a lot of players at the low levels in Lost Battlefield where you see somebody with like two really strong teams and then one really weak team and if i have one really strong team and then just two average teams in the back i feel like at least one of those two teams will end up getting the win the clutch win somehow so that's kind of what i went with i just changed my lost battlefield teams today so here's what i'm going with i got a pumpkin duke a thunder god a phantom king a cupid and a druid now the reason why i matched 
Thunder God and Phantom King with my Pumpkin Duke is because they both do well with his speed increase and also the damage increase, which is huge, especially for Thunder God. I mean, he does not have a cooldown on his proc, so he just sits there and stuns the enemy team up over and over. And then also I threw the Cupid on this team to allow the Pumpkin Duke to pro possibly proc again, just to give that Phantom King and Thunder God more speed. And obviously I put the Druid on this team as well, just because the Druid doesn't have a cooldown as well. And so the Druid can keep proccing as well and also get some heals for these guys you know what i mean so then next we have up a mortep i got revenant vlad dracula warlock and pixie and the reason why i went with this squad right here is because if you notice the top three heroes are all stun heroes pretty much you know so the mortep can stun for a second and i do have five of five revitalized on my revenant as well so he stuns right away which is huge plus makes a copy of himself which helps as well and then i got the vlad coming in the clutch with a stun as well if he gets the proc off and then i have my cupid in the back just for some hills and I didn't really have anywhere to place the Warlock, so I was like, alright, we'll throw the Warlock on this team as well. I doubt the Warlock's going to get a proc off, though, because the Warlock has 5 of 8 Heavy Blow running. Actually, I don't know what... I need to go over my Crest set, actually, before I uh, start this. I'll do that after this. So, I have, last but not least, I got Ares, Lady Leo, Beast Tamer, Heartbreaker, and Tree. Now, this is just a completely random team that can do damage if it gets procs off. That Heartbreaker is an absolute beast. Takes away everybody's energy and the same with Ares as well. That silence plus energy remover. You know, that's just a nice combo. And I went ahead and threw the tree in there just in case all the heroes die. Obviously, they get revived by the tree. Now, before I start Lost Battlefield, let me show you guys my crest because they're pretty impressive for my free-to-play. And you'll notice one thing that I put pretty much on all my heroes revived. So, I got a level 2 revive on my PD. Got them inscribed at 93. Same with my Vlad, I got Revive inscribed to 95. Revive on my Phantom King inscribed to level 90. Revive on my Revenant inscribed to level 85. I went with level 2 Revitalize on my Ares just because it's Ares and the faster Ares procs at this low level, I mean, it's pretty much a guaranteed win. Nobody has 5 of 5 revite levels. No, or not that many people have 5 of 5 revites on their Ares at this low level of Lost Battlefield anyway. So then I got my Heartbreaker inscribed to 90 with Revive as well. I actually went with Life Drain on my Thunder Guide because he's born with the 5 of 8 Revive. And that's pretty much the only set I had an extra level 3 on. So I was like, alright, I'll throw this there just because the Crest effects make it a little bit better. The higher your Crest set, the uh, higher damage and life they get from it. So... That's what I went with Thunder God. And as for the Druid, I went with Revive. Revive on the Cupid as well. And the Lady Leo. And I actually went with Revitalize on the Mortep. Just because I had an extra Revite set. And I was like, yeah, I think I'll throw it on this Revive on Mortep. Why not? And then I went with Revive on the Tree. Revive on the Pixie. I got Bulwark on the Lock. I'm not exactly sure why. I just threw it there. And then I have Stone Skin on my 5 of 5 Corrode Beast Tamer. Alright, so finally... Let's get into Lost Battlefield and see how we do. Hopefully these refreshes give me a bunch of teams. I like it whenever I refresh and see somebody with a green or a blue hero at the start. So it looks like out of this combo, mm, I don't know. Maybe maybe do another refresh. We could go against, actually, you know what? I think I'll go against this guy right here because that just means he lost all of his battles. And since it's my first battle, I don't even have an Atlanta core in my lineup. I didn't think about that. Should I have Atlanta Core in my lineup? Maybe replace late. Nah. Who could I replace for Atlanta Core? Probably like a Mortep or Beast Tamer. I could go with an Atlanta Core. Let's see. He's showing an Atlanta Core to start. So I'll go ahead and send my. Um, yeah. I'll, should I send my strong? No, I'll send my weakest team. I'll send my strongest team in the middle because most people do put their strongest teams in the middle. Oh, we got a revitalized Grim Fiend up there to start. We're about to get wrecked by that Grim Fiend. Come on. Give me an Ares proc. Oh. We did get the Ares proc. So lucky. Thank goodness for that level 2 revitalize on the Ares one time, baby. Oh my gosh, this guy has a Skull Knight with a 5 of 5 revite Ares? How did this guy lose all 5 of his battles? What? Man. This guy's smurfing on me. This guy just gave up on all 5 of his battles. There's no way he lost all 5 battles with those two first teams. Those are beast teams. What do we got to end it here? Come on, give me a good proc, Revenant. We need you here, buddy. We need Vlad to proc too. Ooh, that Vlad proc is monstrous. We might even get a Warlock proc. Nice, we did. He got his Santa Boom proc in though, which was okay. We came through with a clutch win. Thank goodness. That was actually a strong team for him to go 0-5 like that. Let's see. Next up, we have 
Hmm. What should we go against? I don't think we really want to go against. Should we go against a 7? That'd be a risky move to go against that 745 DK there on the first day. Yeah, let's do one refresh, see what we get. We got a 263 Michael. Hmm. I got another Aries up here with 747. That's the same score I got. Maybe I'll get risky and go against him just because he doesn't have an evolved Aries. We'll use the strongest team first and use my Aries team second. See how this goes. Let's see what he's got. Oh, he does have a bunch of evolved. Oh, that is an evolved Aries. Dang, man. Yeah, we're going to get smoked by a bunch of evolved heroes like that. Doesn't matter who you are. If you go against evolved heroes and you have non-evolved heroes, I mean, you're just going to get squashed. There isn't anything you can do. Like this right here, double evolved Vlad. One Vlad proc is going to kill all my heroes just with like a laugh. <laughs> There's no chance against that. How do people like that? How is he only 700? Like that guy sucks. Alright, let's see. What should we go against against this team? Should we go against Golden Patty right here? He is 314. But is that from last week or did he get 314 on his own? Yeah, let's go against this guy right here and see what we can do. I'm hoping this is a last week score and not like a score right now. Because otherwise we're going to get absolutely smoked if it, if it is from right now. Ooh, we got an evolved Cupid back there. But as long as... Oh, man, that freaking... That wasn't a bad matchup. But man, that Grimfiend actually tore, tore me up. Are we going to be able to come through? Oh, nope. That was a close fight, though. I feel like we could take that team if we use a different setup. So we'll keep that in mind. We got an evolved... Thunder God and an Evolved Druid there in the back. But we also have an Ares that just procced on him. But he has a Michael in his lineup that is just absolutely running through me. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight. Should I fight that guy again? What could we take that first team with? I feel like we could take probably that first team with the far right team with that Vlad. But then we get smoked by the second team. Hmm. Yeah, let's just skip this guy. His team's too good. Let's see, what do we go against here? We could go against the Vlad with 101, or the, I've got a Dreddrake 291. See, it's tough to tell. I see that evolved Dreddrake. I need to get wins today, because if I don't get any wins, I mean, today's the day you get all the big points. I feel like this is just a tough, this is another tough lineup. I don't see any guys with any blue or green heroes. I'm just getting smoked right now. We got my man Huey over here was 746 that'd be an interesting win or should we go against the 155 scott showing an orcs ban in his lineup i feel like we should get greedy and go for the 746 just because why not Let's see if we can take the 746 he's showing an atlanta course so i think i'm gonna go ahead and throw up probably my stun team for the atlanta court and i'll run my pd team next just don't have a bunch of double evolved here Ooh. This is going to be a good matchup right here. As long as that Atlanta... Oh, that Atlanta court did proc right at the start, too. Come on, Vlad. Give me a proc, baby. Kill all his heroes. Oh, we're going to get a heal from that pixie? Nope. Oh, that was no good. Got absolutely smoked there. What do we got next? We got an Ares. Oh, Dread Drake 180 with a bunch of... All these heroes are 180, man. Come on. Oh, smoked again. Man, Grimfiend is so freaking powerful. My goodness, he's just running over my heroes. All right, I don't have any more refreshes, so I guess I'll go up against a 155 Scott. Man, this is a terrible first day. Goodness, it's normally on my free-to-play. If I do really good, I'll get lucky, and it all comes down to luck. I don't know what any of these guys have for teams, you know, so... Um, if I get lucky, I'll get around like 230 points after the first day, which is nice. But today, that is not going to be possible. Hopefully, we beat this last team, though. With an Orcs Bane showing, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw in my Pumpkin Duke uh, scatter team. We'll start off with the PD. Oh, he's got an Evolved Ares and a Double Evolved PD? How do people have this low of freaking score, man? People are smurfing today, man. Come on. This is frustrating. Going up against Scrubs with 150 scores with double evolved heroes. Like, these players suck. Come on. Garbage, bro. Terrible. Not happy, boys. Not happy. Not happy at all. Freaking one and... We got one win for 27 points. And now it, or no. Yeah, 37 points. All the rest were losses. That is a terrible first day. Freaking 77 points. Well... 
better luck next time um this is probably a long video so i'm not going to do anything else on my free to play account but if you guys want to watch another video on this account later i'm definitely going to be uploading one rolling gems for the spin gems and win and if you guys haven't checked out my twitch channel y'all need to do that it is uh, www.twitch.tv slash JT is all business. I'm going to be live streaming pretty soon on there. So hope to see you guys around and I am out of here for now. Peace out fellas.